So you've got a bunch of empty notebooks lying around, or you just bought a new one, brought it home, and let it sit there. <laughs> hey everyone, Cherry is here. In this channel, I share with you bullet journaling slash art journaling ideas. I have also created a movie or film journal and a reading journal, which is also very popular. A notebook has infinite uses and is as much a thing of beauty as it is a tool. But sometimes you want your notebooks to have their own specific purposes. And just in case you need a little help getting started, I've brainstormed this list of creative and unique ways to fill a notebook. There are no limits to how you choose to use your notebook. That's the beauty of them. No rules and unlimited possibilities. To make it a little easier, I've organized these notebook ideas into categories, but theoretically, you could use anything on this list. Number one is poetry journal. If there are any poems you love to read and would want to read them again and again, write them down. Or if you have poems within you, use your notebook and find inspiration to start writing your own poems. For aspiring musicians and songwriters, you can use your empty notebook as a daily written record of your practice and performance and track your progress on your instrument. Also, by taking time each day to write down ideas and fragments of lyrics, you'll eventually stitch them together into complete songs. If you are an aspiring author, one of the creative ways to use your empty notebook is by keeping a creative journal. Surely it is a great tool to practice your storytelling skills, whether they're short stories or novels. And maybe one day you're able to publish it for everyone to read. Unsent letters are useful for the tough feelings we may face in our interpersonal relationships. The idea is that you write out all your thoughts and feelings as if you're addressing it to someone specific in your life, but you don't actually send it to them. This can help organize your thoughts for later if you plan to confront the person, or you can just keep these thoughts to yourself. The next thing you can do with your blank notebook is to use it as an heirloom recipe book. For those who love to cook, this can become your most treasured possession. Jot down your favorite recipes or the ones you originally created, write about the occasions you cooked a particular dish, people you shared it with, or their reactions. Over time, this notebook will become a personal culinary diary filled with memories and sentiments tied to your cooking adventures. If you are someone who wants to or required to keep track of what you eat, creating a dietary journal with plants that is unique to you and your body offers a long-term success to your health goals. This is different from meal planning because diet plans require more understanding of combination of nutrition and calories you need on a daily basis. Maybe you are a food critic or just enjoy dining out. A restaurant review journal is perfect to record your experiences. Or maybe you also like staying in hotels or inns, you can also turn this into hospitality review journal. In addition to this, your blank notebook can be a foreign language journal with practice trackers, one word a day page, a grammar checklist, test pages, and many more. Practice different lettering styles and typography or the art of arranging characters of written words by dedicating a journal for it. Or maybe develop your unique and original styles. Plus, this can also be a great place to test out new pens and markers. A devotional journal is a great way to reflect on God's word, focus on what God is teaching you, and to grow more in Christ. You can start by taking a scripture or a chapter from the Bible or devotional plans from resources such as the YouVersion app. You don't have to be a kid to love coloring. Coloring reduces stress and anxiety while encouraging perseverance. So if you haven't found the right book, great news! you can make your own. Plus, drawing the line art to your pages adds to the creative process. Before you start up a new painting or illustration in your sketchbook, do a few warm-up sketches in your notebook. Listen up and let yourself make mistakes, experiment with new pencils and pens or new styles. If you have more than 30 stamps hidden in a box under your desk, this would be a great way to keep track of them. 
Maybe you love nature walks and keeping plants and flowers along the way. You can turn an empty notebook into a botanical journal to press flowers and leaves. You can simply tape or glue them onto your journal pages and ephemera. This is ideal if you want to make notes about the plants next to each specimen or if you just want to create a beautiful journal page quickly and easily. Into gardening or want to take it up as a fun hobby? Why not keep a journal about all the things you want to plant? You can keep ideas, gardening method notes, or anything related to gardening. Sketching out your garden helps you realize that yes, the zucchini will strangle the tomatoes if you don't leave enough space. <laughs> Another creative thing to do is tape little packets of seeds inside. Creating a vision journal is such a good idea and a good way to connect with your future self. It's like a window into the best thing you want to achieve and become in the future. You can put together images that capture your dreams and goals. This one is great if you are in therapy and would like to keep track of your sessions, what was said, how you felt, and if you had any particular revelations or gained new insights. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can be incredibly helpful and can release some anxiety. You can also do a parenthood journal that includes everything right from your pregnancy, delivery of your baby, and other milestones throughout your journey as a parent. You can add pictures too, and it will be a great experience to go through the parenthood journal later in life. You can also make a baby journal where you write all the milestones of your baby, document all their firsts in life, all the highs, the lows, the happiness, the struggle, and the pain, everything. When kids grow big, they will find it exciting to look the long way they have come through. If you're ready to build your dream house, a house or home journal is one of those creative ideas for a notebook that will prove to be pretty useful too. If you're planning on some DIY projects, draw out floor plans of your house with measurements and take it with you when you're shopping so you will always know whether something will fit. Use empty pages to create a mood board for decor, which you can reference when you're out looking for special pieces. What business journal means to you will probably depend on what stage you're at with your business, but this could mean somewhere to keep track of your business ideas or it could be more functional planning, like social media posting schedule or planning out new products and ideas. Anything that is better than holiday is planning for holiday. Use the empty notebook to plan all possible details for your holidays. You can make sections in the book for each holiday and fill in the details from dates, itinerary, tickets, things to do, and more. You can create a separate travel journal where you can document your experiences on each trip. We live in a really great time where we pretty much always have a camera in our pockets. If you love capturing moments every day, even those mundane ones, you can create a daily memory gallery on your journal. Just like a one-sentence-a-day journaling idea, why not make it one photo a day? Or you can collect everything in your camera roll and print them all at once by the end of the month and paste them on a boxed calendar like this. Make your book of wisdom with all the life lessons. Situations and incidents in life teach one many lessons that are not taught at institutes, so document all your life lessons for future reference in one of your empty notebooks. And finally, this would be a journal full of weird, out-of-the-ordinary questions that come into your head and you are not eager to search for an answer right now. So write a date when you wrote the question and come back to it when you finally got an answer. Alright, that is all for the empty notebook ideas. I might make an addition to this list in another video, but I hope this sparked your creativity. But before we end this video, I wanted to show you this notebook that is gifted to me by Kuma Stationery and Crafts. This is one of their six new journals that are recently launched. They sent me the Food in Dreams design in this orange linen hardcover. It is an A5 size with a 160 GSM eco-friendly bamboo paper. If you want to know more about their notebooks and see how the paper performs using various markers and pens, I made a review video a while back on my channel. I will leave the link to that and their website on the video description 
And as always, you can use my code CHERIS10 for 10% off whenever you get something from their shop. This portion of the video is also kindly sponsored by Kuma Stationery and Crafts and I'm so happy to partner with them to give away one of their notebooks to one of you. To enter, you simply need to subscribe to this channel, like this video, turn on your notifications, and comment below which of the journaling ideas included in this video you are likely to create on an empty notebook. This is open internationally and the winner will be randomly picked and announced on December 24th. Again, thank you so much to Kuma Stationery and Crafts for sponsoring and all the best to everyone participating. But that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon on my next one. Bye!